Hello and welcome to a Creo Transformers review here on the Brickbox. Before I carry on with this review, I will just say please check out the animated review of this set. You can see it in the top of the screen there in the corner. If you want to see that, click on that box or I will leave the link in the description below. But now for this review. This set is made up of 80 pieces. It is number 38781. Age is 6 years plus and it is called the Decepticon Ambush. Now if you want to buy this set here in the UK you will have to pay £11.99 or in the USA it's $10.99. So a very very cheap set guys and the big bonus is you do get 4 pretty awesome Creons with this set. So great value for money in my opinion. You do get one Autobot vehicle and which actually does change into a turret as well, which we'll see in a second. The four Creons you do get is the Autobot Cliff Jumper with the translucent body adaption, and you do get three Decepticon Vehicons there you can see on the left. All pretty awesome with different weapons, all translucent purple weapons as well. That's pretty cool for the dark Energon colour there. Now you do get two pieces of the dark Energon weapon with this as well, the weapon that you can construct by collecting all the sets. Now with this set you do get one sticker sheet and included on this sheet are three stickers to apply to this set. So thumbs up there again. And you get the instruction manual which is one of these concertina ones which will just open up. And the instructions inside are very easy to follow and the crayons are falling over. So on that note Let's take a look at the set. And your first Creon is the Autobot Cliff Jumper. And I do like this one. To say it is a relatively cheap set, the Autobot Creon does look pretty awesome. Now it does come with this one facial expression there, which is a pretty cheeky grin. And it does only come with the one face printed, so I won't be removing the helmet. Plus the helmet is quite tight around the head anyway, and it's quite difficult to remove from the head. Uh, there you can see we have the red and black colours all on the torso and then mainly black to the legs. Now it does come with this weapon which is a translucent blue weapon. Really really liking that, looks quite nice. And round to the back there isn't much more detail there but we do have these white horn style pieces to the top of the helmet. And as a common theme now with these new Creo Transformers sets we do get these translucent body pieces for the main characters in each set and this cliff jumper comes with the translucent blue body you can see to match the weapon he has. Now the Decepticons come with the purple translucent pieces and body and the Autobots come with the blue. I'm not too impressed with the translucent body pieces as you can see there or you can see inside is the actual mould sections. It would have been nice to have a little bit of detail to that body. And next up we have the Decepticon Vicons. These do not come with the translucent body piece but I am very pleased with them. They do look rather nice. And we do have the wheel sections there clipped into the side of the legs on this one. And it comes with this really cool looking blaster in the translucent purple colour to represent the Dark Energon. Now it does come with the one face printed and printing to the torso as well. As again we'll spin round and you can see again that weapon really nice big weapon that one. To the back now more detail but here you can see the wheels again very very nice addition to this Creon and the helmet also looks pretty awesome as well. And the next Vicon is in the jet style, kind of like Starscream there with the wings attached to the back. Those wings are just attached underneath the head on the neck piece. And it does come with these uh, blasters on the arms as well from the jet. And again, the same print on the face, same body detailing there to the torso. But uh, we have these translucent coloured blasters like I say, or rockets clip to the arms there in the form of the Dark Energon style and then on the back you can see the wings a little better just clipped underneath the neck, now more detail there and we do again have the same style helmet 
And the last Vicon is this one. We don't have any vehicle style attachments to this one. It is just a straight up Vicon. But we do have the, again, purple translucent blaster. But this goes straight into the hand. So it is a part of the arm. We don't have a hand attached to that right arm there. Again, we have the print to the face exactly the same again. And the torso as well. The same style printing there, Decepticon symbol, and there you can see again the blaster attached to the hand in the Dark Energon style. No more detail to the rear, and again the same style helmet. So on to the Autobot vehicle, and this is a quite cool looking compact little vehicle this guys. You can see we have some pretty cool looking wheel trims there with the rubber wheels, and these rubber wheels are very nice and solid. So they will be able to withstand quite a bit of play wear, I would imagine. And then on the front of the vehicle there, quite basic to the front end, but we do have an Autobot sticker there applied to the front. And this handlebar system for steering the vehicle itself. Now around to the side there you can see it is a carbon copy all the way around with these white wheel arches. Nicely finishing the vehicle off and to the back we have this armory which is a rocket firing system and it is quite flimsy as you can see guys it came straight off it's only held on by a couple of studs uh, but these do move so you can adjust your firing range and then fire the rockets but they are not flick missiles guys unfortunately they are just attached by studs it would have been nice to have flick missiles on that but I don't suppose you can moan too much about that. Now to the rear we do have a translucent piece added on for the brake lighting system. But what we don't have on the front is a headlight system. It would have been nice to have a couple of headlights on the front again but it's not so much of a big deal. And next up we have what looks like a Decepticon lookout post. And this is a kind of a wheel puncturing device, a grill or a grid to stop vehicles uh, passing over so that would be like this and then we'll bring the vehicle in and it will hit that and the tires will burst etc or it would just flip over as I displayed on the animated review if you want to see that that is its main purpose but very simple really only five pieces make that up with the strip and the few tile uh, angled tile pieces now onto this looks like a light or it may be some kind of detection system uh, but this does swivel at the top and we just have that one translucent red block attached to that and again we have the main sticker application is to these two blocks here and that is what it looks like with the Decepticon head there and this blue symbol on the side but that will hinge in the middle and it's supposed to be displayed like that so very basic thing really, not much to it at all. And here we have the Autobot turret and this is the second option you can have besides the vehicle. If you take the vehicle apart you can use the pieces to actually create this as well. It is a movable turret and we have the guns on the front there as well, pretty much the same as the rear of the vehicle. The Autobot sticker there at the front, you can see the handlebar system is applied to the front of that as well and we do get two wheels included in this like I say so you can actually move the turret around like that but not much more to that at all guys translucent block at the back but that is pretty much it for the Autobot turret and with all these recent Creo Transformers sets you do get these translucent purple pieces now with this set you get the two pieces so you get the 2x2 two two block and then you get the 2x1 with the, uh, the rod piece on the front and that will combine with other sets the other pieces that come in other sets and you can build a dark energon weapon if you do buy all the sets and you are really that bothered about building it then again it is a good incentive to go out and buy all the sets to complete this weapon so there you have it guys so what's left now is the rating so let's get down to it and we will start with ages 5 to 12 years I will give this a 7 out of 10 for you young guys as you do get a vehicle and anything with wheels in a construction set in my 
books always bumps it up a couple of points because you know a vehicle can give you hours and hours of fun and you do get the four crayons as well so that is another extra bonus so seven out of ten for you guys so the teenagers now ages 13 to 19 and I will give this a six out of ten as I do think the four crayons are a great uh, bonus for this set it's a, it's a very cheap set and to have the four crayons is a massive thumbs up and very collectible as well for the older teenagers so on to the AFOLs, the adult collectors ages 20 plus I will give this a 6 out of 10 pretty much for the same reasons as the teenagers the four crayons with this set are very very collectible and again it is in a cheap set so massive massive thumbs up there for the crayons but the set isn't really going to be too appealing to the adult collector so on to the brick box build difficulty rating and this will get a very low 3 out of 10 as it is very easy to build as you can see we only have really a couple of main parts of the set and the crayons are very easy to put together so very very easy uh, to assemble and will take you a matter of a few minutes to put it all together but there you have it guys that is the Creo Decepticon ambush review hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you think in the comments box below but until the next review guys brick on